Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2 for Absolute Beginners. I'm not excited on what I'm seeing here in my borders. Um, looks like a pretty strong 20k size English fleet, or army. Probably the fleet's out there too. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, in the last episode, we were forced to change our inheritance law to Gavelkind for perhaps Brittany, I think it was. No, Brittany's elective Gavelkind. Either way, we were about to upset a lot of people if we didn't change to Gavelkind. However, the Kingdom of Ireland does still have elective Gavelkind. I'm not sure if the game hasn't updated that yet or not. But it looks like Tannis Brian of Meath is next in line to inherit, and quite honestly, he's terrible at martial skill. If we look at ours, we're at 16. Uh, he's only one-fourth of the commander that we are, which means bad things in the grand scheme of our military. Now, we can raise 14,000 troops ourselves, um, up to 17k ourselves if we allow this levy to grow. But I do not believe we have the capacity uh, to do such things as these. We'll definitely raise up... Oh, geez, I'm sorry, buddy. So we had a levy there. Oops. We'll get all of our guys up here. This is 6,000 troops. Now, we need about 14 to really take hold. And 10,000 is the highest number of mercenaries. 450 cost and 91 gold, 75 gold, 73 gold. Do we go with the cheap Lorazos? I think we may have to. So 450, we've got 1,000 gold, 73 per month at a loss. We could float them for a while, but we will definitely need probably our vassal levies to even stand a chance here. We can't call in anyone else into the war, which is unfortunate. No, this guy likes me, do that. Vassal levies are just going to have to uh, to settle. We can press that claim, but you know what? Um, we're in the middle of a war right now. Don't care about the loss of Brittany. That's not in the Empire of Britannia. So there's nothing really to worry about there. And successor nomination. Um, how is our Duke as far as Marshall? He's an 8. We really want to endorse the one with the most martial skill in order to keep our... Um, Realm sort of intact. So are we voting for this guy, Duke Agil the Wise? So let's nominate old Duke Agil, I guess. Where is Agil the Wise? So we'll be a second vote. Um, I would like Primogenitor for sure. Um, that way all of our titles can pass on. We can't do that because I believe we are at war and all that other stuff. We need uh, uh, high crown authority and all that good stuff. It's not going to work out well. All right, let's raise up all of our vassal levies. Unfortunately, uh, some of our vassal levies are going to have to stand down. Otherwise, they're going to get absolutely slaughtered. We'll bring everybody down here. And hopefully these guys can retreat. He may actually be able to. I don't know how many he's going to lose, but that is going to suck. We've got 900 troops down here we can pull down. So let's raise up our fleet. Our personal fleet here. And that's going to be tough to select them all. All right, boat, you go down here. These 900 can, can move up. Sort of micro-selecting our fleet here to give us enough troop transport power to get these 900 troops over here. That will be fine. Yep, absolutely slaughtered, which was to be expected. Um, when I stood them up, unfortunately, they were staring at the rear end of a horse, and that's not good for bees next. All right, let's merge everybody up and get our commanders in place. We don't want to be leading this thing. So Afrin is in the center on our flank. Ooh, Forests and Hills, Heavy Infantry Leader, Miel Marie. You are on that side, and Nial, and he hates us, so hopefully he'll be, he'll be killed in battle in a perfect world. That way we can sort of rid ourselves of uh, some pesky vassals. 
All right, are all of our boats there? I believe that's going to be enough. Let's go ahead and embark the army. Get them up here to Leinster, if you please. And then we'll see what our force is. If we can cross and pick off this army here, I don't know if this 16,000 are going to move in. Uh, we have all of those uh, mercenaries. Oh, we didn't even buy the mercenaries yet. So we'll hire those guys. There we go, 21,000 troops. Let's merge them all up. This should be enough to stomp their faces in and take the battle to them. And you know what? I'm not even going to wait on these guys. You guys, thanks for playing. You can go home. I'm not going to mess with those troops there or that fleet there. All right, let's go. Let's move while we got it. We have the superior numbers. We do have good generals. We're going to take the straight crossing and deal damage to the bigger army swoop in and take the smaller one and get back some of this land uh, that we are owed. We could probably also assault the holding as well. Oh, the 4,000's moving off. Who are we trying to kill? Earl Offen, our general. Oh, crap. Well, that's not going to be good if we succeed. He's leading the center. There you go. Break the flank. Break him, break him, break him, break him. Reinforcements are coming. We do have them outnumbered. Oh, we've got the King of England routed. The center is crushing. Hopefully we can get the center broken. There we go. The flank is broken. That is what I am talking about. Failure, but that's fine. We need our general out here fighting with us. That is a lot of troop death. Bishop Bornwolf. All right, where are you going? It's time to die, good sir. My reputation is ruined. I should have stopped that plot. But he's still a commander. Maybe we can get lucky and capture the King of England again. Because that would end the war epically. Victory there. Only five war score for beating them back. Hereford. All right, I think what I want to do... I kind of want to break off a small contingent, but 13,000 troops is still pretty scary. And as long as the King of England is going to be uh, leading a flank, there's a chance that we can capture or kill him in battle. We've turned the tide for us. We're losing 67 gold. So we've essentially got 10 months that we can batter, um, batter England around without worrying about... Um, Hang them? Princess Flowbathe. No, it's not appropriate. We've got better things to do than that. All right, to Warwick. We really need to start looking at our finances here. We've got less than a year that we can uh, that we can use their services. You know what? Since we've got them doubled. I think that should be enough. Let's go up to the holding that they've sieged down and assault it. That way we can get rid of a lot of our um, mercenaries. Oh, and we're the defender. Take that, King of England. Take that. 7.9 war score. We're at 22 now. We need to assault this holding because I think he has the war goal. The claim on poise. So are we holding poise? Is it actually against poise as a county? Because if it is, we still hold the war goal. All right. Tunaith del Fliac seeks to kill us. Our wife. Uh, you know what? Who is our regent? I don't know. Who is our designated regent? If we go into hiding... I don't know what that's going to do for us. You know what? Maybe, just maybe... No, we, we can't even afford to pay off anyone. We can if they're not wanting a whole lot of money. Or we can ask her to end the plot. Yes! You stop that. All right, when can we assault? Two days, one day, charge. Victory, charge victory and charge 
Victory. 44 war score. Our wife is stopping. We still have some money. We can go smash this army back a bit and then let our mercenaries go. Because I don't believe England is going to have much in the way of troop count. Oh, look at him run. He's trying to. We need to siege a holding down, I think. Where are you going? Chain him off at the pass. You sneaky snake. Here we go. I think he's going to take the battle. He's full morale. So are we. Should be fairly quick. We still have him doubled. They're the defenders, but yeah, their flanks are breaking. They don't have a good commander. We've routed the center. Nice. So that will pretty much do it for them, I think. We can stand down the mercenaries before they bleed us dry. That was a pretty good battle for us, I must say. Yeah, it doesn't look like England has anything left. That's 14 war score right there. All right, so let's split our unit here. And where is the mercenaries that we have hired? There we go, the Company of St. George. So let's find all of the Company of St. George and stand them down. Any more Companies of St. George? Barony, Liege Levy. We want to make sure not to leave any Company left. Barony, Barony, Barony. Awesome. So disband this unit. And now we can go chasing after him a bit in Hereford. Maybe even siege down a province or two. Our balance should right itself since we've let those mercenaries go. They turned the tide for us. They've won uh, the big battles. The Kingdom of Scotland can be usurped. Now, I don't want to do that yet because I believe um, we'll lose it in the succession. So since our children can't hang on to it, we want to make sure we have at least two kingdoms to our name when we press for the empire. So if we just hold on to the um, the kingdom of Scotland, we can usurp it at a later time, especially if we die and our Tannist, who is 33, can rise through the ranks. I think we'll be okay. All right, so do we want to split our army and then start sieging down some stuff? I think we do. We only need 3,000 or 4,000 troops here. Um, let's see here. We need 4,000 troops to deal with that army over there. Let's go for a little bit more assurance. 4,900. Alright, so we'll select this one and go army chasing to Worcester. You guys come on here and go ahead and siege down this holding here. Now let me select the appropriate army here. Yeah, we're not going to be leading that battle. You are going to be in the center. Marie and then Nial. You guys will be over there. Just in time, we've got them resorted. While we're sieging that down down there, we can just harass these armies here. 0.9 war score. War score from battles is going to go down. We need to start sieging some stuff down. 3.8% every 12 days. That is outstanding. If only we could capture that king. Who can we grant? So a commander has been killed, perhaps, or died. Oh, you're nice. Yes. Candlebane. Let's see. Is Candlebane... No, he doesn't give any boost to siege. That would be nice. Would be nice indeed. All right, so it looks like this is just going to be a, a knuckle drag out war uh, to finish off the, these armies here, to take this back, to stop the stupid king of England, get all of our troops back in a row. We captured a mare. 70 war score now. How I wish we could just sort of end it now and be like, dude, you don't have an army, stop it. How many troops does he have? 4,000 troops. So I don't think he can raise up any more uh, levy. 
And if we were to even see how much money he has, 137 gold, he can't afford to support uh, mercenaries for any length of time. We can. We're actually making money doing this. Nice. Levy reinforcement rate at our capital is always good. That will help uh, this war right here. We're taking losses, you know. So anything that we can do to pad our uh, realm is for the better. That is a slow burn for sure. Now I wonder, since this army is so small, do we break off even more troops and then siege down even more stuff at the same time? Like go for their capital. Because once we can break them and, and lower this troop count to the point where they can't even siege down a holding, then we'll be in like a dirty shirt. Uh, they'll just be standing uh, with their thumbs up their rear ends and not being able to do anything. So 1,500 troops. I think that is safe. We'll give them one more round of bops. And then we'll make our way over to the capital. The King of England's house. And then he'll just be sort of left outside in the cold alone. All right. What a benevolent ruler you really are. Speaking of which, he is maxed out at 100. What vassal has the lowest opinion of us that we can get to work on? Earl of Brefni. Oof. We could try to make him like us, but he is leading troops, so is he. So the Duke of Gwynedd, reigning in Ormond. So let's go ahead and send our Chancellor over there, shall we? Nope, improve diplomatic relations in Ormond, please. Make him see how awesome we are. There we go, and you're just going to run back, and we'll, we'll steamroll you through. And we'll head for the capital. Ticking war, short, war score should still be up. Yeah, 800 troops, you're not going to do squat with that, good sir. So two war score, let's move on down to Essex. Increase the speed up here. Oh, look at that. You're trying to form something up. 500 troops. How nice of you to raise those up. Yeah, 3.4% every 12 days. 3.9% every 12 days. No, stop it. Oh, a better court chaplain. Interesting. Well, my court chaplain is not landed. He is a 19. This guy is a 23. Yes, he is my new court chaplain. Outstanding. All right, so what can we have our court chaplain do? How about religious vassals? 74, 100, 157. Everyone is paying us money, but Bishop Fingen in Gwynedd is sort of holding out. Okay, so you good sir, your task is to improve, improve relations in Gwynedd, if you please. All right, let's siege this down. Oh, 1,600 troops. Look at you. You know what? We don't have very much siege progress, and he's going to try to be a pain. So let's give him a, uh, a little bit of hope. Success. All right, so the plot has succeeded. We don't have a character leading this siege. Does anyone have siege status? Defense, heavy foot troops... I mean, we can afford... Let's see, we need another one in the center. So, Candlebane. Candelabra, you're going to be leading our center. Which leaves... Rotary? There you go. Outstanding. Now, you come on here and show them what for. We'll have one holding about Siege down. And then the rest should be fairly quick. War score is ticking up. This guy isn't making any progress. He's going to cry uncle fairly soon. I wish this people would stop uh, stop thinking that they could get us. King of England once again leading a flank and failing miserably at it. I'm sorry, good sir. 3.8 war score, 94%. We might be able to get him, especially when this holding falls. We're definitely going to win the war there. Hopefully it doesn't end inconclusively with some stupid, uh, the claimant dies or something like that. 
We're about to take this holding, and then we can get our affairs and matters back in order. There we go, absolutely crushed, 98%. You know what, let's just finish this off. Everybody come together right now, over me. Yeah, let's just finish this off. There we go, 100% war score, and you, good sir, will pay us 400 gold. You will lose 150 prestige, Duke Godwine. He is in prison, and we gain 150 prestige. All right, so that, how we say, is that. We can go back to speed two. We can disband our army. All right, so we've got some troop reinforcement to do. We're not going to usurp the Kingdom of Scotland yet. We have a truce with Scotland for another eight years, so that will give us enough time to build that up. Does the King of England have a truce with us, or is it just Duke Godwine? Yeah, he's got a truce with us for 10 more years. So it looks as if we are going to be uh, setting up nicely here. Successor nomination, Tannis Bryan. And uh, we're holding one too many duchies. I think we're voting for this guy. No, we're not. So the guy we were voting for ended up kicking the butt, the bucket. And it looks like Tannis Bryan is going to win the vote handily. So we'll go ahead and vote for that. We're not holding a grand tournament. We can grant another commander. Any modifiers, Bedwin? All right, Bledwin, you are now a commander, good sir. All right, another one. A regent? Did our regent die? Yes, they did. Arcade, Duke of Dewaybarth, you are our designated regent, sir. All right, so in the next episode, we have some planning to do. Um, I think we can go ahead and take this claim on Gwent. Can we not? The de jure claim on Gwent, we have not enough domain size to hold on to it, but we can hold it for our son, who absolutely loves us which wouldn't be bad. I think that could work out well in our favor. As far as England's troop count as a whole, they're down to 3,600 troops. This is a war that I think we can win just by using our liege levies. We won't even have to worry about uh, bringing in any vassal levies, so we can swoop in, take the province, and keep on going. As far as the, our status, we can see that in the Empire Britannia, we have 40%. So we are just a few provinces away from declaring ourselves Emperor of Britannia, which will be a sweet, sweet victory. But that is going to do it for me in this episode of Crusader Kings 2. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And it looks like next time we may go beat up on... We're definitely beating up on England and maybe even Scotland. Take care.